Hey guys, so um, this is ham. Bless you. This is ham. And that's cheese. I mean, that's not cheese. That's egg. See, I don't got it all mixed up. Cheese is in the in the uh, room. Anyway, these are my guinea pigs, but that's not what this video is about. Um, I'm coming to you to do an updated, like, beauty room storage situation. Um, if you're new here, I recently moved, probably about five months ago, I don't know if that's recent. I recently moved uh, with Nelson, my boyfriend, and I have my own beauty room. And I have been decorating, I have pretty much furnished the entire thing. I um, posted a beauty room tour and a makeup collection. I'm going to link both of those down below. And you probably should watch the makeup collection video first, at, well, and the beauty room tour, to understand the different changes that are now in this video. Um... There are uh, the makeup collections like 40 minutes, so get a snack. It is kind of long. I apologize. Um, but that'll help you get a good idea as to what I've done differently. And this video is just an update to that. Um, an update to that and just things that I've added, things that I've purchased, more so furniture-wise, this um, filming setup. Also, just a few things I've changed in the collection. I want to update you with that, but you won't know what's different. Um, if you don't watch the other one first. So that's why I wanted to let you guys know. So I'm going to go ahead and just, um, ow, he bit me. <laughs> I'm just going to go ahead and, um, show you what is different. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and walk in my beauty room. Um, all of these things are pretty much the same as far as the overall setup. The Ikea, um, the Ikea linen tabletops along with the Alex drawers. Um, the two busy, biggest additions are this and this so I'll talk about those um the first thing is in the before I get to that in the um first beauty room tour I had two of these see this gold shelf I had two of them I actually moved one over here next to this one because I needed to make room for my ring light and I really didn't want anything else back there so this is the ring light <laughs> in the back I have a mirror because let me turn the ring light on when I sit and I film and the camera is here, you guys see this. Um, I, I put the mirror there so I can see myself in the viewfinder. That's clever, I know. So this ring light is uh, the brand AW. Um, it is, I got it from Amazon. It was less than $100. It was about, it, it can be dimmed. Let's see if I can turn it down because. Alright, um, it was less than $100. It was about $84. And when I purchased it, I purchased the stand with it. And you know how you go to Amazon and it says people bought this with this. And I picked up all of that. And this is also here, right here. There's an adapter. I had to purchase that as well. Um, and to mount my camera on, which I actually don't mount my camera on it anymore because it's too far away. But anyway, and it came with these... Uh, this plastic filter, soft focus filters to go on the top, and it came with a carrying case, that carrying case. So with the actual light, I got the light, the filter things, and the carrying case, and then I bought the uh, camera mount and the stand, um, and the stand separately. But even with all those three things, my total was less than one hundred and fifty dollars. So. Uh, I do recommend maybe getting a little more sturdier stand if you want to carry this around, but I'm going to link everything down below. Okay, on to the big daddy, this mirror. This vanity mirror, I am in the mirror, um, this is by Impressions uh, Vanity Company. Um, I actually just got it yesterday, came in the mail yesterday and put it up. Um, this is the, oh my god, what is it called? The Studio XL one, Hollywood Studio XL. And it's a pretty big, decent mirror. I was this close to getting, there's a one, there's one smaller than this one. Um, it's called Hollywood Studio. And I was going to get that. But when I went to purchase, it was sold out. And the difference between the small one and this one was like $13. So, yeah. Um, so, I got the frosted white bulbs. Um, I didn't pay extra for the other, um, I can't explain it. I'm going to turn my ring light off. <laughs> Excuse me. I'm going to turn my ring light off so we can see. <laughs> As, let me calm down. My ring light off so you can see that these lights, they get brighter and you can dim them. And, yeah, these, these were the free bulbs. Um, 
Yeah, these were the free bulbs. They came with like, uh, they could, the option you could get another type of dimmable bulb. I think it was like the bright white ones. These are the soft white ones. I'm fine with that. I'm fine with that. Very, very nice. And it also comes with, um, you have little outlets on the side to plug up like your hot tools and different things. Also, this, this mirror, that's why I didn't buy a lot of makeup for Black Friday. This mirror was expensive. It, um, was also on sale. Like, this is like a $370 mirror. I got it for $209 because it was, they had like their Black Friday set, all their sales, and it was like a lot of percent off. And I'm like, I had the money. I made plans to get it. I'm like, let me go ahead and pull this trigger. And I do not regret it. It's very sturdy. It's very heavy. And it's able to sit tabletop. Um, on here, I'll just keep my lipstick in 69 because I need that sunshine every day. I need it. All right, so a few things that have changed. Just turn this on, I get a little light. A few things that have changed. Um, very, very minor. Um, you know I keep my Muji drawers here. Um, I think I sh these were up in the other makeup collection video. Um, <clears throat> and I have like my lip, some lip products that I have the full, full um, collection of. Um, the only things that changed were I added to this bottom section. I always had the L'Oreal Infallibles and the Color Pops. I added my MAC blushes down here. I have eight of them. And the reason why I added them, I don't really want my MAC blushes on display because I don't think this packaging is anything extra cute for me to need to see. But I needed to make room for my Coastal Scents blushes in my drawer. So I was like, all right, I'll put those in there. I am up to three drawers of color pops. Um, okay. So again, if you check out my makeup collection for all the details on these things. Uh, one of the things that I did change was the way I stored most of my foundations. Um, most of my foundations are still here in this drawer, but this side was really, really packed with foundation. And what led me to put them in this little uh, nail polish organizer I got from the thrift store for like a dollar ninety nine cents was my cover effects custom cover drops um they were stored in the drawer like this and they don't do well laying on the side I noticed they were leaking leaking product and that's a waste of money so I was like these need to stand up but I'm like if I stand these up mm. so I decided to take a lot of my glass bottle foundations the ones that could possibly leak and we've placed them all up here um, so I may need another one because I have way more foundations. <laughs> but anyway, you got your NARS, your Maybelline, and, and Makeup Forever, uh, Urban Decay, my new LA Girl. Um, oh, it's kind of stuck in there. All of them don't fit, but I made them fit. So, whatever. All right. So also up here, the Dollar Tree sells, um, if you find the right Dollar Tree, a little acrylic organizers for makeup. And I have these two sitting up here just to store things. As well as these, they sell these little individual drawers which you can stack them to make a unit. And so I have those there. Just have as much organizational things. That's my Shop My Stash container which I haven't done yet. I'm going to do a new one. But I've used everything out of it. I'm so proud. Um, for my last one. Um, just so I have more things to reach for and grab. I know a lot of people will like their vanity bare up here. Maybe one day I will make it bare again. I don't know. I always, every time I do a video like this or do a big sit down and organize, I'm ready to change it in a week. So, mm. um, any other changes? I moved, because of the ring light again, I moved my helmer that houses my nail polishes from, it was, it was facing the other way so I could walk in here and just go get nail polish but I have it facing this way now so I move my nail polishes here um everything else is still the same um as far as concealers are concerned all the other drawers oh no I'm lying this is my highlight and contour drawer now I found some trays at the thrift store and because I'm accumulating the highlight and contour palette so we have some powder palettes here some more powder palettes here cream palettes here and then some other things there I had my highlight and contour palettes with my highlighters and, and highlighter palettes and it was becoming too much so now highlighters have their own drawer um they have their own drawer so with the palettes on this side and with the individuals on this side this drawer is pretty much full so there's going to have to be a different change to that blush is still the same and um as well as powders down there uh what else what else what else these have still been the same with the eye products 
Um, so you guys can check that out. The real big thing, I just wanted to introduce you guys to my new ring light and vanity mirror. Um, those were the really, that was really the two big things that I had changed. And as far as storage was concerned, um, those little makeup items. I think, yeah, everything else is still the same. Lipsticks and everything is still the same. So check out that other video. Check out my makeup collection and my beauty room tour. Um, if you have any other questions, comments, concerns, you know, you know how it is. You know how it is. So, um, yeah, let's get back so to the So, yeah, desk. I hope you guys enjoyed. Um, thank you guys for all the, like, I post pictures on Instagram. Thank you guys for all the comments and congratulations and tips and, and things. God, I am. It's so fat. And tips and things to organize my beauty room and everything like that. I hope you guys liked it. I'll link the mirror down below. I'm going to link the, uh ring light down below and any other things you need me to link go ahead and let me know and i'll put them in the comments thanks you so much for watching any other questions comments concerns about any of our oh, hair any other products mentioned in the video feel free to leave it down below and um i love you all and we will talk to you later look in the camera hold on okay okay they're everywhere say bye ham all right that's egg ow he bit me <laughs> ham say bye all right, Ham's the oldest, so we out here.